Hello and welcome to a very chilly and cool Cape Town for the first day of the World Economic Forum. Now I'm joined here by Elsie Kanza, the head of Africa for the World Economic Forum, who will give us some sort of idea what we're going to expect over the next few days. Um, 13 head of states are supposed to attend. What are going to be the big names in business who will be talking here over the next couple of days over the future? of the business on the continent. Right. Well, thank you very much. Um, from the business, the big names in business are names like Arif Nakvi from the Abraj Group, uh, Franz Van Houten from the Royal Phillips, Aliko Dangoti from Nigeria, Jair Island from GE, and your own homegrown Jeffrey Quenner from the IDC. So what exactly is expected to be achieved in these, these days of discussions here in Cape Town? Well, let me start off by uh, just mentioning what the key areas of focus are this uh, this year. Uh, the overall theme is delivering on Africa's promise, and this is really about um, getting the basics right. Right, uh, with Africa's continued growth trajectory and the continued strong uh, resilience. Uh, to the global economic slowdown, we're seeing very strong uh, focus now on investing in the long term. Um, getting the basics right uh, is, we've, well, we're focused on getting the basics right in three main areas. One is accelerating economic diversification, and this is basically um, looking at how to move away from dependence from primary commodities, move up the value chain, increase competitiveness and productivity. Um, the second key area of focus is uh, boosting strategic infrastructure, and here the main um, infrastructure that, what we, that we're interested in is the infrastructure that connects the continent and that will bring down the cost of intra-Africa trade uh, and make it easier for um, for companies and, and you know the movement of, of labor and goods within the continent. And the third area of focus is unlocking Africa's talent, which is essentially about addressing the skills challenges and uh, the job challenge that confronts the continent. You mentioned infrastructure there, which is traditionally been led by governments in Africa, but it's sad to say in this day and age a lot of the coffers of governments up around the continent are empty. They can't afford these big projects anymore to help stimulate business. What mm -hmm. is the World Economic Forum going to do about that in the next few days? Uh, next talks? Well, you're exactly right. It's a major area of focus uh, for us during this particular meeting um, on two fronts. One, we have um, we currently have an initiative that we're working on with the African Development Bank and the African Union Commission and the NEPAD Planning and Coordinating Agency, where we're essentially uh, fostering um, dialogue between them and members of our business community to see how and where the business community can play a role in terms of investments. And you're absolutely right about you know the government having been the main player. And the big concern is that infrastructure investments are not moving fast enough. I mean, that's one thing as well. A lot of the critics uh, for many years mm -hmm. have dismissed the World Economic Forum as, as a mere talk shop, saying that it doesn't really deliver as much as perhaps it should. Well, everything begins with talking, right? You need to talk before you can form a partnership, before you can act. Um, just in terms of actual activities that we've managed to uh, to see materialize uh, from the talks is, for example, in South Africa, the Water Resources Group Partnership that has been looking to see how to bridge um, the water gaps and needs within uh, Johannesburg, for example. Um, we've also had a Grow Africa uh, partnership initiative where we have seen uh, about 800,000 farmers benefit over the last two to three years of its existence. Um, this particular initiative uh, that you may be aware of essentially is again in partnership with the African Union Commission um, and NEPAD and is just creating an enabling environment for the private sector to be more active in agriculture and we're already starting to see the fruits of that partnership. Yeah. And finally, very, very briefly, uh, what would be your first prize out of this, uh, these talks here at the World Economic Forum in Cape Town? What, what would be what, the thing that you would really want? The thing that I would really want is a very strong commitment, you know, on uh, very practical decisions about what actions need to be taken next about execution. Um, that's what the public wants. They're tired of, you know, talking tired of planning and saying, we know what's broken, let's fix 